So you know it through its experience. Effects, yes. <laughs> experience its effects. What else? You can't see? You can't see time. When we say time is a per might be a perception in your mind. Then that's how we measure time. That's how we measure time, yes. So it's not a perception. Yes. How many of you have cell phones? you see your, the cell phone waves that are emitted? No? Yeah. I mean, maybe not through our vision, but like it is possible to see those waves. Through what? I know, like... You can measure the waves. Okay. Right? Right? So, the effects, again, right? It's like gravity. So, the, you can see the effects that are actually working, right? So, when your cell phone is changing reception or it says no signal, and you're getting upset, and no signal again, you know that there's some reception going on there. You know that there's waves, the waves are actually fluctuating, so you don't have so much reception now because of those waves. So you do believe in things that you cannot see. This is something that's natural, that people have a belief in. So if somebody tells you, so, well, I don't believe in things I can't see, we'll say, well, if, you have, if there was an archaeologist, who knows what an archaeologist is? Can somebody tell me? Discovery comes out, it's more complicated. So you only 
it, you know, I've always conditioned to believe that there has to be something more complicated running the already complicated complications of the mm. So you're used to believing it? Yeah, you, you're already used to like figuring all this stuff out, but when somebody comes out with a microchip, you know somebody had to slave over like a diagram for like the last 10 years of his life. Mm. But the fact that he did that was like impressive. Well, here's a question for you then. When they first discovered the cell, and they first were able to zoom in the microscope and see all the complexity of the cell, were people impressed? When they first discovered DNA, and they started mapping DNA, and they realized how complex it was, were they impressed? Okay, so they were impressed. But the question is, why is it now that the average student who's studying these things, all of a sudden, he's desensitized and he's not impressed? Chance of just a formation of one of those 